Sean Booth. My name is Sean Booth. I'm a seventh generation Californian. My grandpa's side of the family migrated from Mexico to establish the Ventura Mission. But I went to the San Luis to San Luis Rey, the King of Missions. Since we weren't allowed to videotape the inside of the building, we decided to videotape the outside, which was the cemetery and the garden. The moldings and the statues were beautiful. The mission bells rang from the tower to signal when to eat, work, play, and pray. The skull and crossbones marked the entrance to the Spanish cemeteries. Founded by Father Lasuin in June of 1798 as an assistencia mission. This means that there is another mission close by that is an assistant to it. That mission is just south of our home in Temecula, which we will visit later on in this video. Next, we ran into the church and met a priest who spoke to us. Sacralized all the property, and then yes. you know, California became part of America in 1850. Yes. And so this is just before the, the California became part of Mexico. So, so these two guys, they had a, the property was all taken by the government of Mexico in 1833. So for 13 years, these guys lived in great poverty and everything else, holding on to the end. Ibarra is the family name. Ibarra settled uh, the mission in Buenaventura. Oh, okay. So that kind of has a surprise and then you So those two people are buried right there? Yes. And if you go outside, when you, when you go out through this little side door here, this, that's the mortuary chapel. Now it's called the Chapel to the Madonna. There's a door in the side. That's where the tour continues. It goes out into the graveyard. You walk out there, you look at the right, there's an X, there's a red door that goes back out the street. And just before... From the crypt, we visited the entrance to the quadrangle. It is one of two major archways in the mission. A special gift from Peru is in the center of it. You have been viewing the retreat center. Home of the largest pepper tree in California. Here's a certificate on the wall from Washington DC stating that. Here's a picture of the original six acres. Now let's go explore the rest of the land. That is after we do a little shopping. The mission guard consisted of five to eleven soldiers and a corporal. Alfred Robinson sketched a drawing in 1829 of what that may have looked like. We saw only the ruins. We saw a, a whole colony of red ants while walking along the trail to, of the ruins. Now we are going down to the lavenderias where the Indians wash their clothes. Water spouts called gargoyles like, like my grandpa is showing me provided the water. Captured ground in rainwater exited the mouth into the brick area for washing. And we saw the place where they dried their animal skins. Now let's make our way up to the kiln.
they put they put a fire in the center and they put br mud and, and hay around it and they made bricks out of it. You can see the the difference between the old and the new the old and original and the new wall at the and all the cactus that they used around it. Welcome to Mission San Antonio de Paula, founded by Father Antonio Pere on June 13, 1816. Mission San Antonio de Paula is one of the only, only one of the original Spanish California missions to survive in its purpose of service to the Native American Indians. This is the Asistencia Mission. At this mission, we were allowed to film whatever we wanted. We saw many artifacts in, inside the museum of the mission. We saw many paintings, and we, saw, we also saw arrowheads. White ones, black ones, brown ones, big ones, medium-sized, tiny, and tiny ones. They use these arrowheads for hunting to feed themselves or make clothes for themselves off of the animal's fur. We saw many baskets that they used to carry their stuff in and travel around to many places. We also saw shells inside the building and and because Paula is a coast region and you can tell because of the marine fog that comes in at early in the morning. We, ki we saw gifts that came from all over the world after visiting to mi the mission. And then we went inside the church and looked at all the interesting stuff inside. Once again, we went inside the gardens and saw another pepper tree. And more fountains. Thanks for coming on my journey to San Luis Rey and Oceanside and San Antonio de Paula. It is Paula. It. that services Indian tribes. That's our plenty of fame. <laughs> Go ahead. The, 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 the Ring Kong, the La Jolla, Paula, Paula, La Jolla, Ring Kong. Okay, three tribes. Sorry. For Chick, and they're in a different spot now, but they used to be here. Okay. This bell tower replicates the t an original bell tower in Mexico and it is different from all the rest because it is detached from the church. The bells ring for different reasons like church, weddings, death, or emergencies. The original mission cemetery has hundreds of Indian converts to the Catholic faith. Thank you for coming on this journey with me.